We're uh, here in Ottawa, Guy J joining us. It's the uh, start of a busy weekend. Thursday night here in Ottawa, Boston uh, for tomorrow, for Friday, Saturday, Montreal. Do you expect a big difference between all types of the venues and the cities that you're playing? Um, yes, I mean, uh, like uh, um, I mentioned before, that uh, I think I think it's. I'm not sure. I think it's the first time I'm here. Uh, tomorrow, for sure, it's the first time in. Bo- I'm in Boston, and Saturday I'm playing uh, Stereos. I've been there many times, uh, and uh, I know it's going to be amazing. So, <laughs> um, yes. And your uh, your Saturday with uh, Hernan, is it correct? Yes, I'm playing with Hernan, and we're doing a very very long set. Uh, we're aiming to do 21 hours over there. But uh, yeah, I mean, Stereo, it's an amazing club, so... Obviously, you prep quite different between a night to night where it's a Thursday, an off night, but you've got a very dedicated crowd of people versus something like Saturday where you've got a lot of time to experiment. Does your setup and your prep for the events change or do you sort of have your own process that you go through to be comfortable going into the night? Um, I think, uh, I mean, like playing tonight in uh, Ottawa or tomorrow in Boston, it's a bit more challenging in a way, but, uh, you know, I'm in a stage in my career that, uh, you know, people bring me for what I do, so I'm comfortable uh, here and, uh, and uh, also there. You've spent some time in Ibiza. I went back this year. We did last year and then this current year and noticed there's quite a change. Have you noticed the island changing and have you noticed that that's sort of paralleled to a lot of other places that you've been? Um, yes, yeah, so I went to Ibiza this year I think around four times and uh, every time I went there and met new people they told me that uh, less people are coming to Ibiza. I mean the reason is it became too expensive, too expensive and uh, the second reason I find, I mean, I had good parties over there, but it's not the most exciting place in the world to go party. (laughs) I mean, uh, yeah, so, I mean, now you have a lot of great parties in Croatia, in Hungary, I mean, Germany, Holland, so people are, you know, and today it's very easy to travel, so you don't have to make the effort to go to Ibiza and spend 300 euros a night in a hotel. So... I, um, it's changing, but I think it's also good because maybe it will bring the scene a little bit more to the ground. I mean, it's, it became like people are jumping over their head. I mean, uh, also the p- promoters and the clubbers. So, yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of amazing places to go in the world for a good party. Do you have any hopes <laughs> for electronic music in 2019? Yeah, I mean, now electronic music, it's, uh, it's booming everywhere in the world, you know? So I think today even uh, the underground became like commercial today. I mean, uh, you have big names in the techno or tech house scene that playing in festivals all over the world. So uh, yeah, it's very, I mean, the, the last few years, it's been amazing and I see it getting better and better. What's the one remix that either you were going to do or it was going to do for you and it fell through that you wish would have happened? Uh, (laughs) I I love to do a lot of uh, remix for all the tracks. So, you know, like tracks that were released uh, in the end of 90s. So for that, I don't need anyone's permission. I just take the track and uh, I remake it. Um, yeah, I made some stuff for like Evolution, Phoenix, uh, Transsetters, Roaches, a lot of different tracks that for me are classics. Did any, is there a song that you had uh, tried to remix and then you found you couldn't release or you couldn't really, it just didn't quite work out for you that you decided, okay, I'll, I'll leave that and maybe come back to it? Uh, yeah, it happens also with remixes that uh, I was supposed to do for other labels. I think if you don't feel it's it's going to work, then uh, I don't think the concept of, of a remix is to do a better version of the original, just to give another view of the original. And uh, if it's not working out, then uh, it's not working out. And that's that's pretty interesting because a lot of artists that I've had a chance to chat with have always said, um, you know, I, I've got a, a contract. If I don't fulfill the contract, I feel as though I've let that artist down, <laughs> whereas it sounds as though if you haven't given the artist 
what you believe is the right uh, change in their content that you would have let the artist down. Is that sort of how you feel about it? Um, n not to sound uh, too selfish, but you know, at the end of the day, um, I need to feel good about. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's uh, art. It's not. Uh, I know there's contracts and, and uh, expectations involved in the music industry, but it's uh, art we are dealing with. So if you don't feel it as a musician, then uh, yeah, so it's not going to happen. <laughs> Is there uh, an artist in Canada that you're supporting right now that you really like? Uh, I love a lot uh, Clarion, is doing amazing music, uh, Tim Panner is doing great stuff. At the moment I cannot sing of more, I mean there's a great, uh, I mean people, who, you know, like Tiga and, uh, and there's a great label like uh, Michael Castle, which is uh, from uh, Canada, so yeah, there's great stuff coming from here, of course. I've got a list of 10 questions here, uh, they're all different topics. Do you want to pick one of those numbers <laughs> and I'll ask you a question about it. So pick a number between one and ten. Seven. Number seven, other genres of music. Yeah. Is there something that you listen to that's maybe a little outside of what you produce that's, you know, something that you don't often share with people that you like? Uh, yeah, so when I travel, um, I mean when I'm on the plane and uh, airports, I listen a lot to not electronic music on uh, Spotify and uh, I love uh, rock music, down tempo, world, world music is amazing. Uh, yeah, I think uh, oh, hip hop, it can be, I think whatever it's good music, then it's uh, good for the ears. I mean, uh, there's no, shouldn't be any limits. Do you want to keep going with that question or do you want to pick yeah, another topic? Let's do, ah, I'm, uh, let's do uh, whatever, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I'll ask you another question then. Yeah, if you yeah. had a chance to produce something else, what other genre do you think you uh, would love to spend some time, if you could, to produce? Uh, down tempo. Down tempo. Yeah, and I, I am producing a lot of uh, down tempo at home. I'm not releasing it, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think what's special with electronic music is uh, there are no there's no limits actually. I mean, the, once you have your studio set up per almost perfect the way you like it, then uh, it's like you in a I don't know. Okay, you're in a spaceship with endless buttons, and every button have, give you different possibilities. So I love to do uh, down tempo, experimental, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> do you do you want to pick another number? Do you want me to ask you another question number about four. that? Number four <laughs> is uh, is Ibiza. We uh, we already talked a little bit about it earlier. Um, I wonder if your perception of the island has changed throughout the time that you've been involved in going. Have you felt at the start of your career it was a different place than it is now? Like is it more important now? Was there another point in time where you know getting a, an event or a gig there was extremely important whereas at the beginning it was or wasn't? Um, I think when I started traveling uh, you know of course you hear about Ibiza and uh, when I went there, you know, it, it was exciting, but today I think, uh, you know, I mean, uh, every, I mean, it's not only about music, uh, everything changed today with, uh, you know, with the internet and uh, social networks, so people can, can see the amazing, other amazing places to visit in the world for, for nightlife. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, um, I think because maybe it's because the genre genre that uh, I'm being marketed for what I do it's uh, it's you know I have amazing parties in South America even here in Canada I have amazing parties you know in, uh, in Ibiza I mean this year I had really good parties at uh, the club Heart but besides that I almost never had a really good party over there that you know was like uh, I would mirror that. On my <laughs> birthday, I went and saw Bedouin play at Heart, so I know yeah, Heart like it was really a really good, good yeah. vibe and a cool feel to it and everything. Uh, but and still something that you know I had only had a chance to experience some of the big venues a couple times, so it was, it was yeah. quite neat and different from from my perspective. So, pick one more number. Or? Yeah, nine. Number nine <laughs> is uh, new music. 
Is there somebody that you're really feeling right now that you are really impressed with and you think maybe uh, you would suggest, well, watch for them as we come through in the next couple months? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, I have my label, Austin Fun, so I'm lucky I get to discover and uh, get to know a lot of great producers. Um, Buddha, Buddha Kid is one of them, uh, Eli Nissan, um, Roy Rosenfeld, there's a lot of great producers. Uh, the, thing is, uh, the thing is that uh, it's hard for me also to discover because I don't have a lot of time besides things that are related for the label. But there's Dave Decay, he makes amazing music. Uh, Jimster makes really good stuff. There's a, uh, yeah, you need to dig. <laughs> and, and digging has always been one of those things yeah. that the uh, the artists that are succeeding are not only finding that new content that nobody else has, and you know, uh, not maybe not hiding it, but showcasing it in a way that others haven't. So I look forward to hearing some of that content tonight. I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, I'm really tempted <laughs> to try to find a way to get to Montreal on Saturday night yeah. because uh, 21 hours at such a legendary place uh, with the two of you would be pretty amazing so i wish you all the best tonight and for the rest of the weekend and as we go into 2019 thank you very much and uh, it's been a pleasure and i uh, hope to see you again in uh, ottawa hey it's guy jay and you're listening to amplified radio network have a great uh, day or night